Mom, you little whore! Who do you think the first person to crack open a monkey nut was? What's a monkey nut? You know what a monkey nut is? No. They literally look like that, and they've got two little nuts inside, and you, like, crack them open, and then it's got two little nuts in it, and called monkey nuts. Because you go... Oh. <laughs> maybe not that too. I don't know, maybe. Monkeys are weird. Monkeys? I, yeah. <laughs> I saw a thing about, like, about evolution, and if evolution was real, why are monkeys still here? And I was quite intrigued by that question. Because they didn't all start at the same time. <clears throat> Like, everything's constantly evolving. Like, they're probably aliens that are, that are like, bro, look at those humans. They're still, like, 50 million years behind us. Oh, yeah. Maybe not that much. But do you think that those those monkeys that we have now will eventually evolve into hu more humanoid? Probably. I believe in evolution. I do as well. I I'm just curious. I think that evolution is, is the most logical sense. And I also... Oh, did you know <clears throat> that at the same time that oh, Homo sapiens Homo sapiens were around, there were Neanderthals. I don't know the specific terminology, but there were two different species of human that were around at the same time, and the one species of human, the older, the the more the less evolved evolved, would eat humans. And the more evolved wouldn't. And so if they ever crossed paths, there was one species of human that were cannibals and one that weren't because of the different stage of the evolution that they were in. Yeah. You answered your own question. I think that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that mad? Imagine your dead body being eaten by another human. It's like those rugby players on the mountain. Yeah. I've seen that photo. If you had to, would you? To survive? <laughs> i don't know i i honestly i don't think i could ever put myself like hypothetically in that situation you do think the first person a box <laughs> you think the first person ever was to pierce their own ear definitely the egyptians who do you think the first person was ever to put a eyelash on greeks who do you think was the first person ever to dye their hair greeks who do, no, you think, Romans. who do you think was the first person Egyptians. ever to, like, space their toes out? <laughs> Romans. Yeah. They had sandals. Who do you think the first person ever was to, like, bury somebody in the ground? Neanderthals. Who do you think was the first person ever that thought, wow, there's shit up there in the sky? The Greeks. Who do you think was the first person ever to put a brick on top of another brick and think, hmm, house? <coughs> the Romans. Who do you think the first person ever was to, like, think, hmm, my teeth are wonky, I need them to be straight? Hmm. Napoleon. Bone apart. Mm-hmm. Teeth together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aim together strong Pretty and witty and wise No, nah, but seriously, the first person to ever think to put a mini bag <laughs> A mini egg in a chocolate bar Yo egg <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever put like a smarty in a chocolate bar? So you have like a block of a smarty bar. Cadbury. <laughs> no, I didn't say who. I said I started my sentence by saying the person who did that. Fucking G, honestly. <laughs> hmm? You're a poet. <laughs> a fucking G, honestly. If I had to lie, I wouldn't, cause I don't lie inside. <laughs> Eminem hit me up. I like chocolate and I got a lot of it. Don't come near me because I ain't going to give you any. Eggs, eggs. I put them in my basket. I put them in my basket and I put them in a tree. I put them in a tree and a bird's trying to eat it. I take it, I take it, I take it. I take it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I put it in a wrapper because there's a lot of slappers. They're trying to eat my chucky and I say, mmm, nucky. <laughs> The Easter Bunny says, I want to be funny, so I said, come and baby Tubby. <laughs> every, every year there's kids bumming down my street, trying to find out where they can meet the Easter Bunny. That's me. Don't come near me. If you try and take my Chucky, I will give you a hockey <laughs> stick for a present. Because I'm taking Santa's role at present. He doesn't want to give you presents anymore. That's because he's banging a new fucking whore. The whore next door. The whore next door. She's sleeping in the nude. And you <laughs> the whore. <laughs> she sleeps in the nude. And I don't want to be crude. But she is creating a chocolate fondue. So oh. put a stick in it. So we can bat it. And with that, we can then uh, light it. Then we got s'mores and so much more. And that leads us to the wardrobe door. That leads us to the candy store. Yeah! <laughs> the candy store, that's where we're at. If you want, I'll give you a hat. The hat's made of chocolate, it's not funny. If you want, I'll put it in my tummy. Make sure you don't put it under your belt. If you do, there's a chance it'll melt. We don't like melted chocolate. That means that it will go splat. Splat, splat. <laughs> what rhymes with splat? I don't know, but I don't care. Eerie, 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 eerie. The Easter Bunny's got no job anymore. <laughs> Santa Claus is at the back door. Easter says, oh my God. And Santa says, oh my God. I'm going in my sleigh today. You'll never catch me on a day. I want to give out all the presents. So would you stop being so inclement like the weather? It's banging on my door. Because we got chocolate from the heart. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I never want to see that. Ever. <laughs> I think that's the farthest we've ever got. Yeah, I was kind of impressed actually. Splat, splat, one round of splat. So you probably chose the word with the most rhyming words. At, that, 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 that. I love that. <laughs> Not a bloody roll. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love mini rolls. You know the little mini chocolate carpet. <laughs> you got your bottom teeth out. <laughs> I was ready to bite. <laughs> oh. Would you rather like bite chocolate with the back teeth or your front teeth or like the diagonals? <laughs> back. Like that? Yeah. That's how I eat a Yorkie. Oh, I had that last bit. <laughs> Gosh darn. You gotta eat, eat a Yorkie from the back incisors. The molars. Yorkies aren't for women. Why are you eating Yorkies? Her. A rebel. 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 Put it in a treble. I work my music and that's what I do. Treble. Treble. Treble and bass. Bass is what I be to space. 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 I go to space. I meet the aliens and that's my place. 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 I go to the place. The aliens know that that's my race. I start banging on the drum, and much to my surprise, I was using my thumb. This is it's probably because I like to think I'm not that dumb, so I create a rhythm with my stick, not my dick, my rhythm stick, and my pogo stick, and my logo stick. And next time you come, I'll make you a new trick. Lady Gaga loves this guy right here. All of the disco sick magic stick. She rides them all night, rides them all night, but they're not a dick. They're just fun for her to play with. And at the end of the day, that, that's what she tried to do with it. Um, slay. <laughs> it's easy to run about Chucky. <laughs> it really is. Chucky, Chucky. Ah! I have a lot of energy, but I just don't have like the capacity to produce thought with it. True, true, true. Very wise. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I had my 
neck all the way up. <laughs> it just came up like that. <laughs> very wise. True, true, very wise. Very wise old wizard with a big, long, dangly beard. Do you think they're hiding things in that beard? No. <laughs> what? I do. They're so well groomed. I think that what they do, I think they've got a very special technique. I think that they take the top layer off and whip it over their shoulder and then back comb all the rest of it underneath and then have little pockets, like little nests to hold things in. Well, and they then got they to hide. The... Wizards? they got sleeves. Put them up the sleeves. What are you putting your beard for? Yeah, but you want to have like full movement of the arms. You don't want to be weighed down by your sleeves. It's a wizard. It's magic sleeves. It might be a magic beard. No, mom, it's such a whore. She built like a wizard sleeve. <laughs> Your mom is so hot. What? <laughs> Your egg. Your mom is so fat and old that she stung and made the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, wizards, right? Even in a real world, if I saw a wizard, it would have to be a cartoon. I'm talking like a 2D cartoon. If I saw a wizard and it was actually a real person, I'd be like, no, I don't believe you for a second. Unless you've got the little outlines and you're flat. I don't believe you. I think... You've been looking in the wrong section. <laughs> <laughs> I brought this out for a little bit of light reading. <laughs> light reading? Or even worse, expelled. She's actually such a little bitch, wasn't she? <laughs> you know, right, honestly, I watch a lot of Harry Potter, right? But I would only accept if a wizard was a wizard if it was from the film The Sorcerer and the Stone. It's like the magic sword or something, and he dances and he's like that. Ah. <laughs> I feel like if a wizard had a companion, it'd be a badger. Yeah, but it wouldn't be blue. Or like a little, like gecko. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, Fuck it being a rabbit, bro. And, and do you know what it would? It would. It would. It. The, the wizard would release um, his riddles, and they'd be just slightly too long, so that the, the the gecko would like spout out its tongue, and the riddle would be like written down on, on his tongue and so they could like roll up the riddle <laughs> roll up the riddle <laughs> and on the <laughs> and and the gecko could just like detach his tongue and then they'd have a little scroll with the with the riddle on it <laughs> imagine if you were trying to read it they'd be like come here <laughs> no he would have like a detached point it would be like and 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 to find the thing, what are we? Um, what a thing, thing, thing. Um, you must do. And then it like ends with a little full stop, and the and the gecko is like, and then gives it to it, and, like rolls it up. I don't want to be receiving no magic spells or truths on a fucking tongue of a gecko. It's a riddle. Uh... It could be. I mean, geckos change colours. Rather than being on its tongue, could it be written on its back, and it only camouflages if it's like feeling happy. No, but then you've got to take the, the red. You've got to take the, the riddle gecko away from its wizard. It was better than taking away his tongue and go on a little holiday. It's magic. <laughs> well, it can fucking teleport then. I don't think you're understanding. <laughs> I understand fully what you mean. I just don't agree, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I wish that you could have like headphones that worked in the shower, but then I'd be scared there's like ghosts and ghoulies in there. So I'd be like washing my like armpits or something. And I'd hit be like bopping my head to the tunes. I'd turn around and I'd go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you would do if there was an intruder in your shower? No, I'd probably cry and then die immediately after. What the all intruder? <laughs> what the all? 
<laughs> the whole intruders want to kill people. Can't they just come in and like want to say hi and leave? Like, why are you going to hurt the person? Just leave them out of it, you know? Take your things, take what you want. If you were a good intruder, you'd be in and out and no one would even know. You wouldn't have to kill anyone. A cat burglar. <laughs> no words. <laughs> Didn't think the conversation needed much more than that. <laughs> I feel like I just got like a, like a knife and just chopped the end of that conversation off. <laughs> Guess I'll just take my dreams and fucking die. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm crying. I wonder you can sit like that. What? Oh. So compact. Comfy. <laughs> Comfortable. You ever shorten the word from comfortable to comfy? It's really cool. I just think so many people are cool now I'm thinking about it. I think we've got some very cool humanoids. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> you have such a big bubble in your mouth then. My motor oil. <laughs> bubble. The internal locking system is broken. <laughs> oh no! The internal locking system is broken! <laughs> what was the other thing that I said? <laughs> <laughs> stakes are so high. <laughs> oh my god, the stakes are so high right now. Sure. Oh, oh <laughs> gross. Leave. <laughs> the stakes are so high right now. <laughs> it's like I see where I'm like, oh, oh, Bow's definitely the one. Leave. <laughs> Saying no booger's gonna be the worst, and I was like, Oh no, it's definitely bar. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> God! <laughs> oh. Would you rather? No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have a wand with a star on the end of it or a cool hat, like a wizard hat? You can only have one or the other. They both got powers. A wand. Why? So I feel like it's more threatening. So like brandish a wand. Threatening? With a star on the end of it. Right. <laughs> you feel like right. a little thing in a costume. Excuse me. <laughs> but also with a, with a, with a wand, I could like create different hairstyles, and, and like the wand can be the centerpiece. How are you going to use it if it's on top of your head? I will have a I will have an escape mechanism for my wand. But then your hair will fall out. It's not logistical. It goes me. I would have enough pins in it that it would stay. Can we also just like? So you're walking down a dark, you're walking down a dark alleyway. And you feel threatened, or you're going to like create m mischief, and <laughs> you pull that out. Yeah. I think you'd be really like not very threatening if he came bobbling towards you because it's, it's going to be hefty and it's sticking off the top of your head with no, a star on it. No, it would be would... looking like you got a Christmas tree on top of your head. No, it would be incorporated. It, it would be a fashion statement. You want to be a bit threatening. Well, well, I'll carry the wand in my hand then. Yeah, but still, it's a wand with a star on the end of it. I well, what your hat's hat. going to look like? I'd pick the hat. If I came trotting along a dark alley with like a big googly hat on, I'd be like, yeah, but if I came and down I using have... the wand as a fucking fencing sword... I could have it on a diagonal, like this. And because it's on my head... Is I'm... that extra, like, yeah, threatening? Yeah, because it's like this. Have you not seen all the posters for Wicked? They're all like that. Is it a witch hat or a fedora? A witch... Where'd you get a fedora from? I don't know, the thing was just giving me a fedora vibe. <laughs> it's a witch hat. It's a witch hat, probably with a little tassel on it or some shit. <laughs> What's the difference between that and a star? Because a star's so cute, but a big, big hat. A bubble that's surreptitiously <laughs> over my eyes, and it's connected to my head, so I could probably like incorporate it into the into my body. 
But could I not? Could the star not morph? No. Okay. Wand. <laughs> <laughs> And I would write all the names of the people I'd cause mischief to on the side of the wand. I would etch them in. You won't be causing a lot of mischief. So I would just write really small. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll start off really small and then fill it. Would you rather have... Hmm, would you rather have enough bricks in the world to build as many houses as you want? Or enough nuts and bolts in the world to create anything that you want do the bricks come with the cement and stuff yeah no just bricks let me rephrase <coughs> would you rather have enough <laughs> would you rather have enough bricks in the world to create as many like houses or buildings as you want or <laughs> God. Would you rather have the ability to shoot pellets out your ind index finger? Pellets is in like pen like, pellets. <laughs> no, like rabbit poo. Oh, bricks. Mm. <laughs> Would you rather have to cause mischief, one set of mischief every day, or like you have to, or you only get a hundred bouts of mischief every year? I would. I cause mischief every day. I think that I would rather have um, one hundred a year because that means that I could make like big mischief and plan them. Like I would have like two hundred and sixty-five days to plan <laughs> some like big mischiefs, <laughs> and then and then the last hundred days of the year, nobody's safe. <laughs> Did I calculate that right? Yeah. Okay. But I didn't. I kind of like zoned out a little bit. And then came back in and I thought you said there were 265 days in the year. No. <clears throat> I would plan for that, for those 265 days. And then the last 100 days of the year, nobody's safe from the mischief because it's all, like, really planned out. And there will be mischief caused all over the world. And, like, what, one mischief, for example, is I would write, like, poo caca down the Empire State Building or something. That's not mischief. That's just, like, outright criminal. I don't think that's true. Writing poo poo caca down the side of Empire State Building is not mischief, Maisie. It's graffiti, which is criminal. I would, I would write it in Spanish. Mischief words. is like putting salt in someone's tea or some shit. It's inconveniencing someone. Yeah, it's a bit more of an inconvenience. You'd go to prison. Mischief is minor. They would not be able to find me. There's a fine line between mischief and crime. Mischief is minor and causes very minor inconveniences. Well, my mischief is big because I had 265 days to plan it. But you, you don't necessarily... You're gonna, what, if you, <clears throat> what if you only had 100 days every year but you don't know when it's going to happen? Well, maybe. Or what if they, all 100 days... 100 days of straight mischief at that like, high of a stake would be so overwhelming. Not for me because I would have planned it to the letter. When you're going to have time to plan... In the 265 days previous to the 100 days. Are you going to do 100 different things or are you going to do one big thing that requires 100 days to do it? No. Sometimes I would do um, one big thing that would require three days. And then I would do one one day would have three mischiefs in it. It's 100 days of mischief. So technically you're creating the same as I have, which is one mischief every day. Yeah, but I wouldn't have mischief for 265 days of the year why wouldn't you want to have mischief because i feel like it would be too overwhelming to have to find something to do whereas being able to plan for 265 days and having 100 days where you know exactly what you're going to do you could really like think about it and every mischief would 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 mean something what would you do if you woke up and you'd miss a mischief day it would be a problem so they all kind of interlink no i think that every day starts at 12 I am. That's the beginning of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like you would never, you would, you wouldn't be able to rest properly. You wouldn't be able to have a rest day. Because there are some in my one hundred days of mischief that like wouldn't require any work. It would all just be set up, and it would just happen on that day, so I could have a day off. 
because 100 days straight of work is hard but 365 days straight of work is very hard no because it's minor mischief it takes two seconds to put salt in someone's tea yeah but you, you, you you'd run out of ideas you forgot to pay your tab bob oh <laughs> i don't know why that came into my head <laughs> you already are causing mischief <laughs> it's 100 days in would you rather always be two minutes late to everything? Yeah. Or half an hour early to everything? Early. Half an hour early. Easy. Yeah. Why? Because it's 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 polite. I'd get so bored. I'd rather be two minutes late. I can wait. Would, but that would could be anything. <laughs> be too late. Two minutes late for a train. Two minutes late for like. Oh shit! Yeah. A funeral. Two minutes late for like an operation. Funeral's fine. They last for ages. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me like that. <laughs> no, I'd rather be. I'd rather be thirty minutes early. Why is it the thing makes ribena different to black currant juice? Nothing. You think it's the same? Yes. But ribena is like creamy. No. Not not creamy. <laughs> like more syrupy, and dense, and all around a better juice. I don't like Ribena. Orange juice or apple? No. 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 <laughs> Orange cordial or blackcurrant cordial? Ooh. Summer fruits. That's not... It's true, though. It's not part of the question. And it's fucking not. Summer fruits taste like coins. You clearly can't jump to defence. Summer fruits taste like fruits of the summer. <laughs> it tastes like coins. So when you're in the middle of winter and you're looking for a little bit of that summer, you go and get that pink juice. Pink? Yes. No. Nah. I think orange juice reminds me of summer more than summer fruits juice. Lies. Well, it's not a lie, it's my opinion. Don't care. You lie to yourself. I never do that. Apart from when I tell myself I'm going to clean my room. Would you rather, every time you went for a poopy, it was huge, and you had to take like five minutes getting it out, or every time you went to the toilet, it came out with little, little, little pellets, and it was so loud everyone could hear it, but it only lasted for like three seconds. Pellets, because I've recently been struggling with a little bit of constipation. <laughs> You've been eating Weetabix. I mean like fibre in general. No, I, I, it's, not, it's not like constipation, it's just that they're rock solid and they're spiky. Yeah, you need to eat some fibre. It's so spiky. You need to eat some fruit and fibre, and I ain't kidding. I have... You, you will end up giving yourself some sort of problem. Have you prolapsed anus? No, more like a hemorrhoid, but I think you should probably sort that out and give yourself the squits for a little bit. <laughs> Never. You know if you drink probably a whole carton of orange juice, it'll sort it out a little bit. Yeah. It hasn't been happening for very long, and it usually goes away, so it's not... It just hurts a lot. The best, the absolute so best way to sit on the toilet for a poo. Bro, I can't fit my feet on the toilet. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Everyone says, oh, yeah, your knees raise a little bit. If you can, get your heels on the toilet seat, wrap your arms around your legs, out like a light. Bam! Straight slip and slide in that bowl. I don't even think I could get my leg anywhere near the toilet bowl. I take my trousers off, my pants off, my shoes off. I sit, I put my legs up, I wrap, I buckle in, and I squeeze, and it comes out every time like a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I. I. It's actually quite quite nice at the moment because the place I'm in, there's a, there's like a, the sink is like right next to, and I have like a proper hold. Why have you become into this habit when you say like the word that starts with a? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared you're gonna shit yourself. <laughs> Not out of control. I don't know. I feel like you've like trained your body to when you're in that position. It's like, oh, go time. I'm very finely in tune with my my excavation. Bowels. Excavation is not the right word. <laughs> I'm very finely in tune with my excrement mm. and excremental needs. And bowel movements. I can tell whether I'm eating correctly or not. And I know how to figure it out. It's like that woman who likes to drink her own pee and she decided that asparagus made her pee taste bad so she stopped eating it. I wouldn't say it's quite the same. What? No, no but it's like knowing, like understanding that like 
um, cause and effect. I'm smart, I'm not a savage. She was on my strange addiction. <laughs> Can't mock it. Ah, you say my addiction is strange. You don't have an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like to. I just like. I like to 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 know what food's doing to my body. Mm. I'm feeling a bit backed up. I'm gonna eat some weird. <laughs>